Hello everybody and welcome to Soul Silver Randomized Bidoof. Oh, at least we're not running into Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't I think I mentioned that in my fire red. Um, but on like the first route um, in the initial recording of the game that failed, um, there was Mewtwo on the Route 1. I ended up catching it too. I was planning to use it, but then the game wouldn't save. And so I tried all kinds of different things, like deleting the, um, the randomized, uh, ROM. And it, no, nothing worked until I found out that I had to change the battery. The uh, save style for the game. So, luckily, it doesn't look like this game has that problem. So, ooh, double kick. Nice. That should be useful. I should have healed up before this. You got a Pokemon to the lab. What a waste. There's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Did you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Versus. You are challenged by Passerby Boy. Not Cyndaquil. Oh boy. Cyndaquil is my opponent in this one, apparently. That should be interesting. Usually I play with Cyndaquil, so it's going to be kind of interesting for me to have to face, like, Cyndaquil. Nice! Critical hit. Very nice. Feed by, feed passer by boy. Humph! Are you happy you won? Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name! Yeah, in the original Gold and Silver, they created a little bit of a um, confusion because you talk to the guy and he's like, yeah, my name is... and then it puts like three question marks and I don't know if anybody else had this problem but when I played it, I was like, well, his name was three question marks, so I, I don't know what his name was. And so that's what I put, was three question marks. And so, like, the entire time I played, like, the original, like, gold and silver games, he, he was three question marks. I kept asking my brother, I was like, when do I, like, get to know this guy's name? Because his name is just, like, three question marks. He's like, they didn't, like, have you input at the beginning of the game? I was like... Oh. Oh. I was like, it was at that moment when I realized that that point when it's, like, giving you, you know, you have to, like, input the name. That was actually when you were supposed to name him. It was not well planned out. I've seen other games do it though, where they like have the character go, oh my name is, and then they like go into the name screen. I think that would have worked a lot better, but that's not how they did it in Gen 1. Or 2, actually. Gen 2. I don't know what, I don't know what they were thinking with that, but that was what they did. So, maybe I should play, uh... A good example of that next. Legend of Ligaia. That's a fun game. Got my, uh... Oh, you're freaking joking me. I hate this Pokemon so much. So, obnoxious story about Krigatot and Krigatoon. When I got... 
Pokemon Diamond for the first time. I also bought a um, action replay so that I could get Arceus. Like, Arceus was the only reason I was even interested in Pokemon Diamond. Um, like, when I heard about Arceus, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I want this Pokemon. So I, like, went out and got an action replay so I could, like, have Arceus right from the beginning. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. And rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. My, so you must be the one who did it? What? <laughs> I don't understand the logic. Hold on a second, there's nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? You must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? And here is where we can input the name. Um, so, technically with my Patreon, I have it set up so that people can, like, you know, request to be um, named in the game and things like that. Um, I think I'm not going to do that for, like, this guy. Um, I think I'm going to do that for, like, my Pokemon. Uh, I just need to, like, look up my patrons again. I do need to record my um, uh, June update video. Uh, that needs, that's going to be going up here in a couple of days, so I do need to record that. Um, but anyway, that's just one of the perks of Patreon. So if you would like to get your name on one of my Pokemon, uh, you can do that by going to Patreon. And every month you donate, your name stays on that Pokemon, so that's a pretty awesome feat. I mean, you have to start donating, like, you, it doesn't go through until the first of the month, so you wouldn't gain anything until the first of the month, um, you know, the next month or whatever. So, like, this will probably go up on, like, the 30th, right? 29th, 30th, this is episode 3, so 30th. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess if you donated today, um, you get in just in time. So, uh, but that aside, we are going to name this guy. And we are going to name this guy the classic name that I think every person who plays this game ever names this guy. I see. So Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. Emily, I'm glad that you are un I'm glad they understand you are an innocent. See you later. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Emily, this is terrible. Yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? I'm my head the mystery egg professor Elm. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? The egg must be something I've never seen. Since it's just an egg, this Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Elm gave me a Pokedex? Oh my, is that true? That's incredible! It's just superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Well, Emily, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League Champion. Why not? Ha ha ha. I mean, Champion is not all easy. Not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's Gym. Emily, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. I guess my mom gives me, like, Pokeballs or something. So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too, but what can I do for you? I know, every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. Long journey money is important. Now, in Gen 2, it's a good idea to have her save money because she gives you, like, cool things you can decorate your room with. But, I don't think that was a feature in Gen 4. I think they removed that. Like, the decorations. 
Cause like, I mean, this is just a mailbox. It's not like decorations. It's not even item storage even. It's just a mailbox, so... I think they dropped the whole like decorations thing. Um... Uh... Hang on. Um... Well... Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to talk to Rydal Fox and see why this is happening. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh Rydal Fox. It looks like we haven't fixed this game yet. Alright, well I'm going to cut this episode a little short. Um... Because usually I would go for another about five minutes, but a uh, little hard to play when the entire screen is black. Um, I'm going to hope that when I save the game, it doesn't save it like this. Like, I'm going to try closing it and bringing it back up. Um, if it saves like this or it still doesn't work. I'll have to contact Rhino Fox and see if there's anything he can do about it. It seems like I remember um, there being some kind of an issue like this in every ROM of Soul Silver and Heart Gold that I ever downloaded. So, not sure if I can fix it, and I haven't been using save states because this is the first recording session. I don't usually use... I usually save state at the end of each session. I... Alright, so I'll see everybody in the next episode unless I have no choice to switch to a platinum randomized run because I'm not sure what's wrong here. Um... But yeah, uh, feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed, and hopefully we'll have this fixed tomorrow on your end. Um, so keep calm and pony on, everypony.